Good morning, Interbo. Please rise and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, stay tuned for this edition of K-Scope. Good morning, Interbro, and welcome to Friday's edition of K-School. I'm your boy, Isaiah Sapley. I'm Dan Medina with your morning announcements. The so sophomore class needs to use canned goods as part of our Thanksgiving holiday decorating this year. Bring in canned foods and drop them off to room 227 or 114. We will need all cans by Friday, November 22nd. Anyone who missed the winter track meeting can still join the team. Stop by room 302 anytime before Thanksgiving to sign up. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but we'll be right back. You know what I would spend $10 million on? To get a new auditorium. I would actually build a new school because $10 million is a lot of money, right? I would build a new Interboro High School that everyone would be happy with. And then, I don't know, I'd build a state-of-the-art house and then I'd figure out where else to give it away. I don't need it. Okay, so I would probably, I feel like that's a lot just for me to have. So I would probably like donate some to science and let them take over Donated to charity. There's some of it. There's some given to my family. I don't know. Uh, I pay off college and then travel the world. That's right. With $10 million, I would definitely help as many people as I could. I would certainly do my best to help the Interboro community. I'd get a new track. I would get a new football field with turf. And I put a new press box in there with Wi Fi so we could live stream football games every Friday night. The rest of it, I guess I just make sure that my kids were able to go to college without having to worry about money, and I'd certainly retire. I would move to New York and live in the most expensive penthouse I could find. I would drop out and become rich and famous. I would visit every country in the world. In case you don't know, today, yeah, that's today, is National Recycling Day. Um, Interboro, in order to become better recyclers, are going to try to do some things a little bit different over the course of this school year and hopefully in the future um, to bring more awareness to this very, very important issue. So students and teachers and all other staff members, let's get this straight. You're going to be seeing three different trash cans in the school. It's very important for this to function properly that you use these trash cans properly. Let's start with the most simple one. This one. This is for all kinds of trash. Forky kind of trash, all general kind of trash. Goes in here, it's going into the dumpster, it's going into a landfill. Got it? Good. Then there's this trash can that you're going to see in classrooms. This trash can is only, and I repeat, only for paper. We have a paper recycling dumpster outside. This goes to a special place. It gets emptied. Please only put paper in here. Paper. Last. It's trying to hurt me. Our new trash can. This one. You're going to see six of these located throughout the first floor. In the cafeteria, out in front of the main office, by the guidance office, by the auditorium, among other places on the first floor. If recycling is important to you, and it should be, in this trash can, in this slot made by Mr. Joe Fisher, plastic bottles, cans, and glass, that's it. You start throwing trash in here, you're going to destroy what we're trying to do because it's now going to cost us money to get rid of it. You need to only put plastic cans and bottles. National Recycling Day today. Do your part, guys. Have a great day. Welcome back. If you are a Stuco member and have not signed up for the Stuco Remind app, please stop by the activities office to get the info. If you took the ASVAB test on October 25th, please report to the library Monday, November, November 18th at 9.30 a.m. To, to receive your scores and test interpretation. Come out and support Interboro's Theater's fall production of The Curious Savage. 
You now only have three chances to see the show tonight at 7 p.m. and two shows on Saturday, November 16th at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Tickets are $10 for adults and eight for students and can be purchased at innerboroughtheater.com or during lunches this week. You aren't going to want to miss this heartwarming show. That's all the announcements we have for today. Have a great day, Innerboro.